The EPA defines environmental justice as the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people, regardless of race, color, national origin, or income, with respect to the development, implementation, and enforcement of environmental laws, regulations, and policies. How many consumer electronic devices do you use on a daily basis? I would estimate that I use between three and four. Computer, cell phone, iPod, the Empo computer, definitely four or five. Well, laptop, cell phone, iPod, I'm sure there's a lot more little things, odds and ends. I don't know, probably between five and ten. Does this count as electronic? Probably like five. My phone, iPod, computer, does calculator count? Probably like four or five. Technology and consumer electronics have come a long way in the last 50 years. The first personal computer was made available only 33 years ago. Since then, progress within the realm of technology can best be described as leaps and bounds. In accordance with Moore's Law, the capabilities of digital electronic devices are increasing at exponential rates. According to the Consumer Electronics Association, the average American household spending on electronic items is up 10% from last year. U.S. consumers were projected to purchase $165 billion in consumer electronics in 2010. So the question becomes, how much is enough? Where do you think your used electronics go when they die? My first impression would be some random landfill in the United States. My second impression would be in space. Probably in a landfill somewhere. Uh, I'm not really sure. Probably into a landfill. I think that my used electronics are recycled. Right. Unless I throw them in the trash and they're in the landfill. Say my uh, used electronics probably go into landfills and pollute everything because they don't really, they're not really biodegradable. Every year, 45% of the toxic e-waste dumped in China is from the United States. The devices such as cameras, laptops, cell phones, iPods, and other computer electronic devices Americans use every day are cached in loose, toxic dumps where poor women and children live, work, and play in the rubble. E-waste is often melted down to extract precious metals such as gold and silver, however this emits many toxic chemicals. These toxic chemicals include lead, cadmium, mercury, and plastics. However, one does not have to look far for other examples of environmental injustice. Cruise ships can also dump untreated fecal matter off the coast of any continent as long as they are three miles from land. In our own war on terror, everyday American soldiers burn toxic waste and uniforms in burn pits that fill the Middle Eastern deserts with toxic fumes. On a scale of one to ten, how do you think the U.S. handles its waste? Between seven and eight. Times three. No one really cares for that much here. At least we start caring now because we're planet's it's kind of dying right now. People just think it's too expensive and no one's willing to invest money into saving our planet. So uh, one to ten, I'd probably give us like maybe a three or four. We're more like a three to four. Um, we're doing better now than we did previously. I think there is still a huge long way to go. And typically all our waste ends up being in other people's backyards who we end up not seeing and kind of more ends up in like poor areas and different things and I think we don't own what we actually get rid of and take care of it properly. The United States Environmental Protection Agency encourages people to follow three distinct practices in order to reduce the amount of waste they create. The first is source reduction, which is the designing of products that reduce the amount of waste that needs to be thrown away in the end and also ensures that what is thrown away is less toxic. The second is recycling and reusing materials so less new raw materials are needed. And the third is composting organic waste so it can break down naturally and can be used as fertilizer. Thank you.